talk about uh, the changes in the world of electric vehicles. Some of the biggest brands around the world uh, are finally catching up and they're bringing out some of their new models. Volvo uh, have launched one of their electric vehicles. Audi also uh, looking at the pure electric vehicles from 2026. And BMW, meanwhile, has launched its third electric vehicle in France last week. And technology journalist uh, Nafisa Akabal was there as well, taking a look at all of that uh, for us. And can we first of all just start with the BMW i4? I mean, I'm not a fan of uh, BMW's first versions of electric cars. It looked like a squashed Uno was the first one. Uh, it looks a bit better, the, the BMW i4. Your impressions? Yes, yeah, so the i4 is the first sedan-looking um, yeah. electric car, so I think that will appeal. And also, BMW were, were very bold in its previous electric vehicles. It was, uh, the, they changed the look, so just, just so you know that you're driving an electric vehicle. But I think the tech they put in there is very, uh, very cool because it's unlike anything I've seen in a previous version. But the i4 has a bit of an updated e-drive technology where they pack in more energy into the battery. So you need a smaller battery. It's mm. very cool. Uh, it's modular. It's flexible. And uh, it, it charges faster as well. It because charges it's, it's faster. The, it's the, it's the, re, the recharging of the cells, which is the issue in these cars. Yes. So it, it does up to 204 kilowatt capability. That's very fast. Um, mm. Currently, we're just rolling out 150 kilowatt charges. So I managed to test it in France because they have the capabilities, the speed charges. I, I recharged for 20 minutes and I got over 300 kilometers of range. And that's been the issue as well because it takes forever. The previous versions of these cars took forever to charge. You know, you'd have to leave it overnight and even then you'd only get sort of ordinary mileage out of it. So fast charging in Europe is now, is that becoming standard, do you think? Is that what, you th is that what you're seeing? So DC charges are very expensive and you can never have one in your home. So the whole point of these chargings is to have your own um, charger in your home to charge it overnight. That's the typical way to do it. Um, you'd only use a fast charger when you're off the highway or you're doing long distance. Mm. But these cars are aimed at being charged overnight the way you charge your cell phone yeah. overnight. And EV charging, have I got that right? EV charging uh, here in, in South Africa. It's great to talk about these vehicles, but how would that work here, do you think? Do we have the abilities? So, globe, on a global scale, South Africa has a lot of uh, EV charges per electric car that we have. And the reason being is that we have the infrastructure is being rolled out, but the cars are so expensive, they're not necessarily being bought, or it's still very much a premium thing. Uh, but uh, in 2022, we're seeing a whole bunch of new uh, cars coming out, so that's obviously going to affect the ratios. But at the same time, the whole point of, of owning an EV is to charge it in your home. You shouldn't be relying on the public chargers. Here's the problem, though, and, and I can't help but wonder, and I don't mean to be the bearer uh, of bad news or the Grinch of technology, because I love this technology, I do. Uh, load shedding, blackouts in this country, it's going to make a car like that unreliable I mean it's, it's got to be something that you've thought back thought over as a journalist and gone in the midst of blackouts this is probably not the best idea it is a very tricky thing I will admit but you have, you're gonna have to work on schedules but the problem is sometimes they don't stick to the yeah, schedules that's a problem. and most of these cars have a capability where you can set it to charge a certain time frame so if you asleep and you know you're being load shed from uh, midnight to half past two you can set the car to charge at 3 a.m. for example so the technologies are in place but you can't tell how reliable ESCOM is going to be mm -hmm. I mean, especially going into winter, that could be a problem uh, as well. I'm curious, when you drive one of these electric vehicles around, like the, the i4 that you had, does it feel like you're driving a car? I've never driven one. I mean, do you get the sensation? Do you get the noise? It, it just it sounds, I've had one drive past me, it sounds like a vacuum cleaner. It would just sound very odd being inside the car. So it's a very, you need to have a total mind shift when you get into these cars. They start up silently, and the first time I switched one on, I thought I tried to switch it on again because I had to you realize it it's on. actually switched on. Yeah. So that's the biggest shift you need to adjust to, and I think it'll take a while for people to realize there's no sounds. It's, it's complete silence. And so that's, when it's revving up, it just, there's, there's nothing. There's no rev per se. It's just, you're getting the instant talk maximum, you put your foot down, you're getting all that power, and that's also why these cars have to be electronically capped when it comes to speed, because it, it can be quite dangerous. Yeah, but you don't get that sensation of the, of the, or of the engine revving high, which means you're going fast. No, it just... but uh, you don't. But BMW on the i4 M50, they worked with Hans Zimmer to create these iconic sounds. So if you go the into sport mode, Hans yes, Zimmer, yeah. uh, the Academy Award winning one. Ooh. So you get these sounds when you rev or when you're in sport mode. Um, so just to, <laughs> to make you feel like, you know, you're driving a sports car. So of the ones that you had a, had a look at, uh, I mean, obviously I understand you're a journalist. You can't pin your name to any of the brand. So let's go for the best looking one. Shall we? So we've had the Volvo, we've had the Audi, the BMW. You open your garage in the morning, it's charged overnight if we haven't had blackouts. Which is the one you would put there? Just, just throw one out for me. I feel, I don't, not to sound biased, but the Audi uh, e 
e-tron those uh, gts they look really good i won't lie they really really do and just uh, very quickly someone sitting here watching this going uh, i would love to buy one any idea when these things might land in this country i mean what, what do we know so the i4 specifically uh, is coming middle of the year there's no pricing being uh, announced yet mm. but you can get other versions audi launched six e-trons volvo recently two weeks ago launched their xc40 recharge great car it's actually the first car to run on the android operating system so what does that mean so before i let you go what do you mean on the android how do you run the car on an Android operating system? So the whole infotainment system, and it's built Google Maps, is built in natively, Google Assistant, the Google Play Store. But the, the, currently the disadvantage to that is South Africa doesn't have the eSIM functionality rolled out, and you need to be always connected and internet connectivity. So you have mm. to pair your vehicle to the car mm. right now. But uh, the update will roll out in the second half of the year from what I understand. So does that mean if I have an iPhone, I can't use the Volvo? You can. You can pay it for the connectivity. Oh, of the I Bluetooth. see. Yes, okay. All right. to so get your internet connection. It's Android focused, and as an iPhone user, uh, that's your problem, not mine. I appreciate your time coming in, as always, to speak to us. Uh, such, such jealousy when I speak to Nafisa. She gets all the cool gigs, gets to drive all these cars. Uh, Nafisa uh, and Akabor joining us, technology journalists looking at uh, the future, possibly, of electric cars in this country. Uh, but with our power issues and the costs of vehicles in this country, are you going to make it up uh, in the saving of fuel? I suppose that's where the debate is going to go next.